Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and today we are doing some favorites. And you guys, the tea is heavy this month. Look at all these products. I have been a testing machine, and I 100,000 bajillion percent have some amazing products to talk to you guys about that I am obsessed with. And I also have a couple that I was like not the biggest fan of. So we're just going to like sprinkle those in here. There's not a ton of them. So we're just going to like not focus on those. But I mean like they're not, you know, this is not like the sole point. But I also feel like if there's some products that I'm not loving, I have to tell you guys because I hated them. And a lot of times when I hate things, I hate them on camera. So you know, but sometimes they sneak in behind the scenes. And you guys know you have to know the tea about that too. So let's dive in to this insanely full bucket that is sitting on my lap right now you guys there is so much in here I'm excited it's been such a great month so the first thing we're gonna talk about um, is my new hairdo this is my new favorite thing of the month what do you guys think you have been so so amazing down on social media everywhere I first posted it on the 4th of July on Instagram so if you don't follow me there or on Twitter or anywhere else definitely check the description box all of my social medias are listed in there but I'm mainly on Instagram and Twitter um, just because they're fantastic and I love them and I love love getting to share like pictures and interact with you guys and I just love them both so those are like the most interactive platforms I have and so yes this is the new haircut got it done um July 3rd um late at night a friend of mine did it she did an amazing beautiful job I wanted something different I felt like I was just in this ridiculous rut and she just she did this and I'm just like you are so damn talented like why why do you like me I don't deserve your talent in my life so we love this number two we're going to talk about all the makeup mainly that's on the eyes girl we just got done reviewing a palette today oh god it is this NYX guy right here the swear by it palette pick this up from their website it's a $35 palette 40 shadows we talk about this we talk about these new uh, cream pigment things we talk about cream eyeshadows that they just came out with and these lip things what are these these lip tees slip tees something something tees that they have all of this is new on their website I will link it right up here I just just did this whole video so you'll see all of that all the swatches and the disasters that happened in that video so definitely go take a look so now reaching into the bucket um, I don't know by the way if some of these are repeats they might be repeats I don't know what to tell you it, it that shit it just happens so you just gonna have to deal with a girl if if I love something two months in a row oh darn like it's not the worst so let's talk first I'm just gonna like aimlessly grab these two first so this is the Vaseline intensive care uh, cocoa radiant with pure cocoa butter vitalizing body gel oil for a healthy glow skin this stuff is so nice you guys I put this on my legs the other day I wore a dress and I'm super pasty and my legs are like as white as this toilet paper which PS why do you have toilet paper in here I use it to blot my eyes don't get crazy so I my, my legs look like this and they're just matte and they're just ugly and they're just not cute and I was like everybody else always has these shiny beautiful glowy ass legs so I took some of this and I mixed in some of this uh, Impamina Suns Sunset, yes, yeah, Sunset Glow Oil. This is from Sol de Janeiro. Oh my God. Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> These are the people that make the bum bum cream and all that good stuff. And you guys, I, this combination, like I've mixed this in with lotions. I didn't like it. I've mixed this in with whatever. Didn't like it. I've used this by itself. I am way too damn pasty to wear this by myself by myself by itself and the combination of these two together I don't know if it's because they're both like that really nice oily consistency that they just meld together they went onto the skin they weren't streaky or weird but they gave me like this nice subtle glowy bronze shine moment that I live for this looks great on my legs on my everything and this is yeah this is if I mean it's because there's there's two different uh, colors of this and I wanted to make sure I didn't give you guys, you know, that's the only, that's the color. Okay. Um, because there is one for, this is the lighter one. And then there's obviously a deeper one for deeper skin tones. The only issue that I have with this is that it looks beautiful. It's this great packaging and everything. And then you open it up and there's this lid and there's no freaking pump. And this is a nightmare to try and deal with without a pump. It's so beautiful, but you literally like it just pours out. I'm going to swatch it for you guys just a tiny, tiny bit. But it's a disaster waiting to happen. But, like, look at this. And then you just, like, oh, my God. You just, like, rub it all over. And it's just, like, this healthy glow. It smells exactly like the Bum Bum Cream, which is amazing. So, on one hand, you have this. And then, on the other hand, you have this stuff. And this I just picked up at, like, my local Meyer, So, you can get this anywhere. And it's just, like, it looks kind of like an oil. 
but when it absorbs onto like your legs or whatever you're putting it on, it just feels so nice. Now it does leave a little bit of like a kind of a slip feel. It's not sticky, but it does leave a little bit of a film on, which I personally didn't mind. I'm not wearing it at like the beach or anything like that, but I just feel like it gives like this healthy, beautiful glow to your skin without any shimmer, whereas this one leaves like a healthy, beautiful shimmer glow. So you put the two together and it's just absolutely stunning. I love the combination. I think they're both great on their own as well, but for me, because I'm so fair, I had to find a way that I could use this on my body and like kind of tone it down even more and it just works beautiful again arms legs whatever collarbone I don't care where you're putting it it looks stunning and the combination is great and by mixing them you'll actually make this product go a lot farther fun fact so the next thing I want to talk about is the foundation combination that is actually on my face right now on uh, one side we have the Dior backstage face and body foundation I did a full review of this I will link it right up here it is the entire Dior backstage collection and I mix this foundation with the HD liquid coverage from Catrice. The two of these together lasts on my skin so beautifully. Like you guys, it looks so good. It looks beautiful all day. It helps minimize all my pores. This Dior isn't as pore minimizing as the other Dior's that I've talked about. I love those. Um, this is not as pore minimizing, but it does a beautiful effect on the skin. Photographs beautifully and the two of these together look so stunning. Now, I did just do a video where I use this, but I'm not sure if it is up yet. So if it is up, I will link it. If it is not up, be ready because there's a ton of new stuff out from Catrice. I go through I look at all of that and in that video we play with this combination so be ready so the next thing on my list you guys is the Dominique lemonade collection now I know that I did do a full review of this I will link it right up here however there was a recall on these palettes they were pressed incorrectly all of that jazz we've already heard it which is totally understandable so um, I will link that but that's just to show you guys the colors um, as far as what I call like the inconsistencies in the palette that kind of stuff go ahead and let that fall to the wayside because they have produced a new palette which I think is awesome so the first thing I want to say in this part of my favorites video to you guys is that I loved the way that they handled that they actually sent out an email at first that said go ahead send us an email if your palette is wrong and we will get you a replacement my guess is everyone said their replacement was wrong because the next day or two days later I got an email that said hey don't email us we will automatically send you one when they are available so I thought that that was cool I didn't do anything I'm hoping that it will show up I don't know what the time frame for that is but I will definitely keep you guys updated now as far as this palette goes you guys um, assuming that all of the shades were correct and there were no issues anything like that um, so I'm just kind of imagining here I have thoroughly loved and enjoyed this palette again the issues are that they are if they were not issues I love these colors I love the color scheme their mattes are like second to none they are amazing they blend out like a freaking dream and I love the arrangement of this palette I really just love everything about it again it had its issues I can't say that enough but as far as the colors and what I do love about this palette I used it a lot this week just to do basic eye looks easy fun eye looks whatever I needed just to play around with it before I knew that they recalled it and it was a lot of fun now the same launch I only have two of these in front of me because the other two I think one is in my jeans pocket from yesterday and I think the other one is in my purse so these lip glosses I am absolutely obsessed with I think they are fantastic lip glosses I'm actually wearing this one on top right now this is the shade pink lemonade and what I love about these is their shine these have a shiny ass gloss that I just cannot get enough of and their colors are very muted in the sense that they are a sheen of that color so for example there's an orange one if I'm wearing like a brown nude I'll pop that in the center what it does is it stays in the family of that brown nudeness just a little bit but there's just enough color to it that it kind of helps pop the center of the lip but they're all they all perform that way and overall I really really love these lip glosses they settle on the lips beautifully without settling onto them and making them look kind of goopy or funny they just overall they sit beautifully I love them uh, I I don't think that you need every single color because like I said in that video um, if you're curious about the glosses you can check that out they are very similar in their undertones so I don't think you need them all 
definitely the orange one because I think that that would pair with like warm nude lipsticks and stuff like that. Um, but then pick like one or two of the pink ones and I think you'd be all set. But overall, these are absolutely fantastic and I love them. Now these next two items are not new, nor are they probably new to my favorites. Um, I know for sure this one has been in one, the M. Reezy, uh ABH highlight, you guys. I can't stop, won't stop. I'm wearing this highlight today. I wear it constantly, like even my little waves are almost completely gone. This highlight, if you don't have it, works beautifully for all skin tones. Like I, I don't think I have skin, skin. I don't think I have seen one skin tone that this was not flattering on. What is truly magical is that as a pasty queen, which I am, you can't hardly find a gold highlight that works for your skin tone because they all show up super gold or they leave like that really weird line or whatever. And they're always just too gold or not gold enough, or you can't even tell there's gold or they're glittery or whatever. This is the perfect golden highlight for a pasty queen right here you're looking at it right right here it does a beautiful job at like blending onto the skin it doesn't emphasize anything it doesn't set funny there's no issues it just is stunning all by itself and i'm also wearing on top of that the ofra nikki tutorials glaze donut collab you guys this is a highlight that i am literally obsessed with i talk about it all the time look at that like i've hit pan like it is the most pathetic sad little highlight this is the things that dreams are made of. I will take this and put it right here, like on the absolute highest point of my cheekbone and like a little bit on the temples, a tiny bit on the nose, just to accent the already beaming highlight that I have from Amrezy. And it looks stunning. Again, melts into the skin, works so beautiful. If you are a pasty complected queen, I'm obsessed with this combination. I wear them constantly constantly. All right, so these we're just going to throw out there, get them out of the way. I just did a full face of first impressions, like just did it. I will link it right up here. Um, it was kind of fantastic. And in it, I used these Bare Minerals blushes and this e.l.f. bronzer. I'm actually wearing this e.l.f. bronzer on my skin today. It is absolutely amazing. This is in the shade Forever Sunkissed. You guys, this is a great matte bronzer. I don't know why more people don't talk about it. I love it. It goes onto the skin beautifully. You can veil it. You can like, you know, reduce it if you need to. You can build it up. I mean, there's just so much you can do with it. I love it. And I love it for like my fair ass face because it just does such a great job. And then these are the two Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blushes. This is in the shade Call Me Blush. This is in the shade Beige for Days, which is actually the blush I am yes wearing on my face right now it's like a brown at first I was like wow this looks really similar to the bronzer like it looks like a bronzer but when you put it on it gives almost like a brown peach flush to the cheek and I am just crazy about this if you don't want that pink blush if you're like no I don't like mauve I don't like pink I really don't even like blush blush this is that blush. It is absolutely stunning. I have never been a fan of that look until I found this blush. Let me put it that way. This blush made me believe in the, the no blush blush cheeks, and I love it. This is just another one. I threw it in here because it's true. This is the KKW um, Nude Set. I'm obsessed with this. You will see yet again, number four is missing. Where is it? It's in my purse. I love these lipsticks. I just talked about them, so I'm not going to say much about them. If you want all the swatches and all that good stuff, I will link it up here if I have any links left. Um, if not, you can go find it on my channel. It's just a couple of days after this or before this video. Um, but these are eight of the most fantastic nude lipsticks I've ever worn. I love the formula. I love the lip pencils. I love it all, so definitely check that out if you are curious. But these are fantastic, and I've worn them so much that they had to be in the bucket. One more thing I'm not hardly going to talk about too, too much with you guys. The Life's a Drag Palette, Manny MUA. I love this palette to an absurd amount. I have worn this palette, like, probably, I, I, I don't even know, like, at least, at least 15 to 20 times. And I've only had it, like, no, I've worn it more than that. I've worn this palette so many times that I've used every color in here. And there's actually a dent in this gold shade because I love it so much. This is my go-to, like, quick, easy, fast, on-the-go palette. Like, run some brown into the crease, grab that gold, pop it on. Like, if you have a problem, oh no, fade it out with these two colors right here. Boom, you're done. Hey, you want a little pop of something? You want to feel a little bit fun? Boom, popping a, pop a purple. 
pop in a color and it is just beautiful i love the arrangement of this palette i love everything about it it's easy it's quick i don't have to think literally i was on a really like stressful phone call one day and i grabbed this palette and i did it like i just used it and it's just so self-explanatory you don't have to think everything goes on beautifully and this gold legendary is one of the few gold i just flipped you off it's one of the few golds i have ever used where I don't have to use a glitter glue on my eyes, like look at that, oh my god, um, to make it work. Like you guys know, I have super crazy, super textured lids, and 99% of the time I have to use a glitter glue. This one I don't, it is so thick and beautiful and creamy, goes right on, stays for days, girl we are good, I love this palette so, 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 so much, and I I'm obsessed, and it's just it's so good. Now, if I, I don't know if I said I'll link it, but if I didn't say it, and I don't have any links left, it'll be linked, if not, Go back and find it. It is well worth it. I did a beautiful, fun, like a just a great, crazy, fun eye look. I love this palette. It's well worth the money if you were curious. So now here's one a ton of you have been asking me questions about. Paige, will you review it for us? Will you tell us what you think? And girl, this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have been using the shade Swan. This is what is on my face right now. This is what has been on my face for the last like two weeks, three weeks maybe. I've been wearing this a lot off of camera, talking to you guys about it, and you know, not really saying too much, but letting you know like, oh hey, I have this, and I kind of wanted to leave it at that because I feel like concealers are so... Hmm, you know what I mean? Like they're hit or miss, especially when you you compare everything these days to the Tarte Shape Tape, blah, blah, blah. But you guys, this concealer, I, I love this concealer. I am obsessed. Again, the shade Swan. What I love about it so much, yes, it has like this really cute little packaging moment and all of that, which is great. Doe foot applicator, which is also great. Um, this is the color, I said Swan like three times and I keep forgetting what the color is. But this is the color I use right here. And I'm just going to, like, show you guys, like, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera from that far away, but this has got some of the most beautiful, like, line-reducing, smudging, filtering moment that I have ever seen. Again, I still love Tarte Shape Tape. I want to make that very clear. Tarte Shape Tape is fantastic. However, I feel like if you are the type of person that says, you know what, Tarte Shape Tape is just a little bit too matte for me. It's just a little bit missing it try this because I feel like when I use this my under eyes and like everywhere that I put it looks more illuminated than it normally does which is crazy for me because I've never had any issues with Tarte Shape Tape I love it it's like literally my OG amazing concealer like who said anything about you know don't mess with my my Tarte Shape Tape I almost said Sharp don't mess with my shirt. That would have been that would have been great. On the back of the bottle, it does say conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. And what I think is so beautiful about this is that it literally does all of those in one. I find that I am loving this like in the normal places, under the eye, the middle of the forehead, all that. And it does just this beautiful way of sending the light back to camera or sending the light back to the world under my eyes that I am living for. Like right now, hold on, I'm just gonna one sec, I'm just gonna like grab my mirror. Um, I have been using this in the same way that I've always used my concealers. I set them with the Maybelline Fit Me, and it looks so good. It doesn't get creasy, it doesn't get cakey, um, which is crazy because I have like the creasiest, nastiest under eyes known to man. This doesn't do that. I love it. It's amazing. Okay, so one more thing about this concealer, and then I promise you I am done, but you guys have been waiting for the tea, so the tea is now yours. Um, I have been loving to take just a tiny little dash of this, like boop, boop, on the jawline when I'm blending in all of the other concealer areas, and I just blend this in, and what I feel like it does is it helps add just like this beautiful it's not a highlight like in the conventional like highlight highlight but it adds this beautiful like dimension of color to my jaw that gives it this really flattering emphasized look without needing to add shimmer without needing to add like a special powder and I don't know what it is you guys I don't know how it does it I just really like honestly it's so, so good. I highly recommend it. I love it. All right, so now we're going to drift into a little skincare. I promise the bucket is almost empty. So let's kind of drift into the two products that I was kind of like not obsessed with, and then we will get those out of the way. These are the Exuviance Clarifying Facial Cleanser and the Exuviance Night Renewal Hydrogel. This says that it reduces signs of aging and oiliness. Now, 
<sighs> you guys, this was a rough one for me because the, this one, I feel like the face wash, the only reason I'm not like obsessed with it, honestly, is because it's such a thin consistency and I use a Clarisonic. So this ended up kind of spraying all over my face, kind of shooting in my eyes a little bit. I just wasn't I just wasn't obsessed with it. Plus, it's supposed to be for oily and acne-prone skin, and I didn't feel like it did much of anything to combat my oiliness, to even cleanse my face. My face just didn't feel super clean. Now, skincare is super personal, and what I can say is that both of these products were really highly rated on the Ulta website, so definitely something you can check out. For me, personally, they just didn't work. Now, this Night Renewal Hydrogel, I think this, again, is just like a my skin thing because I put this on my face at night before bed, and what I found was that in the middle of the night or like, when, you know, later on, an hour later, half hour, whatever, I did this, like, I had something on my face and I, like, rubbed it, and literally it, like, pilled off, like, my face was pilling off, and the only thing I could think of is that this was doing it, like, this is such a weird, thick cream but it's supposed to be a hydrogel and it wasn't like soaking into my face it was like sitting on top and then when I touched my face it peeled off it was the weirdest thing but it was peeling off in like these weird little I just I wasn't a fan I feel like yet again everything is super personal to your skin type but for me neither of these worked which is super unfortunate because I have to return them now but I just wanted to let you guys know I did try them not not obsessed now on to some skincare that I have been loving and oh my god yes this is the belief moisturizer eye balm you guys I heard this hyped about all the time and I was like oh everybody thinks they know what they're talking about everybody thinks they're gonna have an opinion I love this this stuff is so good I actually have another one already this one is like I don't know if you guys can see inside that container or not but um, it's like literally almost gone like there's maybe 15 10 15 percent left in here I love this so much a little goes a long way but this really makes my under eye feel so hydrated and I actually think I've seen a difference and I talked about this a ton a few months ago on here about you know guys I haven't been able to find an under eye moisturizer I think they're all the same like it's this huge gimmick blah 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 and I feel like this one when I apply it under my eye really does make a huge difference like it really does just plump the under eye like within a week I actually noticed a difference I was like wow my under eye looks better it looks more refreshed it looks more fill in the blank and I've been using this now for over a month and I really love it and you guys know for me to come to you with an eye cream I have to really really enjoy it and I really enjoy this now let's talk about facial moisturizers before I put on my makeup you guys all know that I am obsessed with the origins original skin matte moisturizer with willow herb this is like my ride or die obsession love it now this is expensive we all know this and um, I happen to be at Marshall's and if you watch any of my vlogs you will know that I frequent Marshall's often and um, they had this Shiseido pureness mattifying moisturizer at their store and I was like oh okay so I take the box I scan it at Alta I'm like on the Alta little app I scan it it has four and a half stars I'm like oh okay so I try a bottle you guys this is down to here this is so good. Like, I love it. Again, I, I'm not going to say, like, it's better, it's worse than this, but what I can say is that for whatever I paid for this, which was, like, half of whatever it was at Ulta, I'm obsessed with this. I think it is so good. I think it does a great job at, like, hydrating my skin, doing a great job of delivering hydration, hydration, hydration all the way through the day while still giving it like this really nice mattified feel it doesn't feel like my skin is dry it feels hydrated but you can't feel it to the touch on the face I just really really love this if you have oily skin something to consider I'm obsessed or again the origins willow herb these are both really great I was just really excited to find one that was cheaper and amazing because like that never happens and this is so good all right, guys, last two products. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. I love this before bed. It literally feels like water. It smells so damn good. And it feels like you are just giving your face the biggest drink of water it has ever had in your entire life. Feels so amazing. You need the tiniest bit. Oh my God, it feels so good. You need the tiniest bit of this to go over and do your entire face. Like I almost always accidentally overdo it with this product. But what's so great is that it's so light and it's so just soaks right into your face in such a way that you don't notice it, but you don't have to use a ton. And the other night I actually like put this on, like I washed my face, blah, blah, blah. I was out in the living room and then right before I went to bed, I was, I touched my face and I was like, oh, you know what? I want to throw a little bit more on. I put it on. 
and it's like it wasn't too much it didn't ball up it didn't get gummy like a lot of times if I put on my moisturizer at night I'm done like I can't put anything else on my skin because you don't want to overdo it with this I just feel like it goes on and no matter what it feels so beautiful on the skin I love this I've been using this now for a couple of weeks and I just I've really been enjoying it it's such a great product from the drugstore. I also really love the L'Oreal Hydrogenius. They make those for dry skin, oily skin. Those are all amazing, but this is also another fantastic oily skin find. And the last thing, you guys, this is the Pure Sugar Scrub from L'Oreal. It's one of these little containers. Now, we know that they have the masks, right? But these ones with this, with this color cap, these are facial scrubs and these are so good it has like seeds and sugar and all this weird shit in here and it's supposed to you do it like two to three times a week and it helps go in and kind of minimize pores and like unclog them and just help your face overall and I completely agree I've used this now quite a few times I really like it a little bit goes a long way and I just kind of you know mix it up put it all over the face you take it off with water it's just like any kind of like a uh, like a microderm abrasion that kind of thing except this one dissolves a little bit so it really does help to clean out everything and I feel like as a sugar scrub or, you know, any kind of a facial scrub, this is a little bit more intense. So if you have super, super sensitive skin, you might not enjoy this at all. Because I've noticed like when I'm done with it, my face is kind of red where I've rubbed it because it's a little bit more aggressive. But for, for what it does and how my skin looks afterwards, how my skin feels afterwards, I feel like it does a beautiful job at just unclogging everything, making everything just flow and be beautiful. <laughs> my bad you guys I had to actually get up and leave the room for this I was looking around and I'm like I'm missing something I shut off the camera I'm like what am I missing I know like I could feel it in my bones that I was forgetting this hello Havana heat collection Kathleen lights you guys I'm wearing the blue one on my nails right now I'm obsessed that's why it's missing these are are so damn good if you have not tried kale polish yet girl what are you waiting for okay probably money but these are so damn good these are seven free or whatever the hell it's called yeah seven free um they're great they are free of formaldehyde formaldehyde resin camphor dibutyl flavonoid toyo and and xylene I don't know. I can't, I can't read them all that fast. You guys, I need to like get off some bifocals. I need to sound my way through them. But the moral of the story is that these are so damn good. This is her Havana Heat Collection and I am obsessed. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw the little one minute video that I sent to Kathleen Lights where I was like, hey girl, like we love you. We appreciate you. And this is what I was referring to because this draws from like her Cuban heritage and all of that. I don't know what the hell this was, but this is so spectacular for me because for me, me, like in my opinion because these colors are beautiful and they're vibrant but they are different from other colors that are similar like and this is what I said in that video so if you watched it don't mind me but this yellow shade right here this is in the shade Tropicana and this shade is literally the most beautiful yellow nail color I have ever seen in my entire life I hate yellow on my nails like hate it makes me look like I'm jaundice hate that color so much it is so unflattering for me like I don't even I think I own like one yellow shirt because I don't look good in yellow moral of the story pff, yellow and this color is so good I love it it has like the perfect undertone of everything all of her polishes do that to me they're just so good um last time I got my nails done I had this hot pink the only three from this collection that I haven't worn are these three right here but oh you bet your ass they are coming I just love this whole collection so I had to shout it out it is so damn good and every time that she releases anything and oh I have another one but it's I think it, it's either in my purse or the office or somewhere but she also came out with one that's called like opul opulescence or opulescence something like that and it's like this really beautiful opal color also stunning that's like brand new just came out like a week or so ago I finally got it I haven't played with it haven't done anything with it but I do have it and it is, is amazing because they're all so good like if you go to her website and you look at them or you look at any of her swatch videos you find a color you like you pick it out I honestly have not talked to anyone that was disappointed with their kale polishes no one because they're so good all right now for some of my favorite music of the month or of the whatever I have a couple new songs that I am just like over the moon obsessed with um so as you guys know or if you don't know i don't know if i said it in last month's favorites the show star and it's about yeah i think i did talk about this the girl how that she like the three girls they want to be singers and the two of them are like foster kids and all that kind of thing um and in that sh movie show blah, 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 it's got two seasons right now i believe they are on netflix or hulu hulu netflix 
I don't know, but they're on one of them. And they are so good. Like parts of them are kind of campy and I'm kind of just like, God, I wish this was over. But other parts of them I love. Like the music video scenes, those are stupid to me. Like I'm not a big fan. But some of the music I have been just dying over. Like I downloaded them. So the, the first one that I'm going to play you is Bossy. Oh, so good. Ooh, so this next one is a rap. Okay, these are all from Star. Like, this is from that show, too. And it's called There For You. And basically, uh, Star, who's, like, the main character of the show or one of them, she is, like, sick of everybody, like, treating on her, like, treating her like shit and just beating her down. And this song is all about, like, all the shady shit everybody's been doing. And she's all like, yeah, that's what. That's what. Like, what's up now? Like, I've been there for you. But I remember I was there for you, bitches. Like, as you can tell, I love that song. Like, I okay, that song for me is so reminiscent because in the past year, I have had friends that are kind of like, but like, given me the finger and like walked out of my life. And at first, for like a minute, I was kind of like, wow, that sucks. And then I was like, you know what? No, because I was there for you when I needed to be. And not only that, there are some people that walk out of your life that you're just like, I was there for you. You weren't there for me. And that's cool. Like, I got you. I see right where you're at, sitting on a shelf over there. Like, you're not in a regret pile. Like, I don't believe in regretting the people that I was close with. Nothing like that. But I just leave them where they belong. And, like, we leave life where it's at. That's cool. And, like, we move on with our lives. So, I just love that song. And if you put it in context of where it's at in the show, and then it ends up being, like, this thing, and she ends up getting in trouble. Like, it's just, it's so good. Like, I just, I love it. And then there's only one more song from, like, them that I'm gonna play, and it's called I Bring Me. And I just love it because it's, like, I don't need to bring anything to this, to the relationship, to the friendship, whatever it is. I don't need to bring anything. I don't have to bring money. I don't have to bring things. Like, I'm going to bring me, and that's plenty. Like, that's all I need. Thank you, and good night. I love that song. It's so like, I am everything. I'm just not lame. Like I fucking I rock, and I lo I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, those were like the main three, and I've listened. <laughs> I've listened to them an absurd amount this month. Now I did also go in. <laughs> One second, please. And I took a couple pictures on my phone. Wait, is there like a spot for screenshots? Because I feel like there is. And I've taken some screenshots of some music. Now this one is Bottoms Up by Brantley Gilbert. I love this song. It's probably not healthy how much I love this song. <laughs> like, just, just listen. It's like, we gon' drink it. <laughs> And I love that song. Like, obviously, you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm on so much medication, I can't drink. But I just love, like, that. And it's not a new song. That song's from, like, 2012 or 2013 or something. But I love it so much. And I have heard it before, like, once. And then I heard it a few weeks ago. And I was just like, oh, my God. I forgot that I loved this. Like, I, I just love that song. And I love, like, that it's bottoms up. Like, shit, we're going to do something tonight. Like, get you some cute little girl and go get it. Like, I just, I don't know. I love that song. <laughs> And it was just so cute, and I was like, I took a screenshot right when I heard it, and I was like, this, I have got to remember to put this in there. And then, okay, I thought there was, like, one more. So, this next one is Sundays by Florida Georgia Line. Like, also not new, back from, like, 2013, 2014, right back there. Um, but I love this song because it's just like that I'm chilling by the pool song. It's so, like, at first when I heard it, I'm not gonna lie, like, it was dumb. I hated it. I was like, this is the dumbest fucking song. And now, when I'm, like, driving in the car and I'm relaxed, and like it's summer whatever like the windows are kind of down and I'm just chilling I love this song
Okay, you guys, that is it for this month's favorites. I know it is like so long. There's so much shit on this list. And that's, you guys, that's the way it is. Some months they're long, some months they're short. This month, I just had a lot of that, lot, lot, a lot, a lot to say, apparently. So, you guys, leave down below what were your favorites. More specifically, if you have any show favorites, because I'm kind of like in between shows. Like, nothing I watch is kind of on TV right now. I'm kind of like, hmm. So, let me know. Leave all of that down below. All of your favorite music, your skincare, your whatever. I want to hear from you guys because some of the stuff that I try is recommendations from you because y'all are smart and some of y'all just know what the hell you're doing. So, I want to know all of that down below. You guys, thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me for another month. You guys are the absolute best. You're amazing. And yeah, you guys don't forget to check out the description box for all the social medias. They are right down there in the description box. You guys are the absolute best. And please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. It's my Monday favorites and little girl things I didn't like. But there's so much that I did like. You don't even notice the stuff that I didn't. Something like that. Hmm? So the next thing, so the next thing I want to talk about is actually the uh, foundation. Oh my god! So the next thing I want to talk about is the. Uh, mm. So the next thing I want to talk about is. <laughs> Oh, why did I laugh? I don't even know. Nothing was even funny, and I just laughed. Man, so, nothing's funny, bitch. Nothing is funny. Stop. Stop. Stop laughing. Damn it. <laughs> So the next thing I want to talk about is actually the foundation combination on my face right now. You guys, I am wearing a mixture of the Dior Boom. Now, let's talk about... Uh, There's such a loud-ass mosquito in here. Like, do you wait until I film? Literally, you have not lived until since last week, and now all of a sudden, here you are, annoying the living shit out of me. What?